think we're gonna do Norma Jean first. It's our first morning milking the goats and I feel really good about this. I know it's gonna take a few milkings to work all the kinks out and kind of figure out my system, especially with new goats, them figuring out the system. But then also being in the camper, there's just very little counter space, very little storage space, so I need to work out all of that. But the only way to work out some of that is by doing it. So we do something called kid sharing, which means that when the kids are an appropriate age, we separate the kids at night from their moms, and then we milk the moms first thing in the morning, and um, then put the babies back together. And so last night was their first time being separated at all because they hadn't been separated this milking season. The kids are about five weeks old at this point. In the past, we would start separating at about two weeks. So they're plenty old enough. Um, they nibble hay, they drink their own water, all that stuff. So they go in their own stall at night and then the moms stay in the breezeway. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. It's a really beautiful morning. <laughs> uh, okay. So we'll see how this goes. I don't expect it to be perfect, but it's a start. Oh, washing a goat's udder is so easy compared to washing a cow's udder. Oh my goodness. I know. No, 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 Kitty. You're going to have to relearn. It's not your turn. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. It's a lot of milk in here. You're not hitting the bucket. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> and you're hitting me instead. Am I still hitting you? No. Oh, I see. That teeth's angled back. Jeez, Rusty. Yep, whoops. Well, there goes the milk, but not all of it. We've been dumping it in this. And this little, we've been dumping it in this little extra container because I knew this was going to be a little tricky this morning. I feel like even though they are, um, even though they are moving around a bit and getting annoyed, they're not kicking. So, yeah, I feel like it's going a lot better than I expected to. Can we see your babies? Oh, okay, come on, Maxie. Doing what she could of what fell. See. Yeah. Maxie. <laughs> we rinse that bucket up. These mamas really want to be with their babies now, so that's what we're gonna do: reunite them, and all will be all will be at peace in the barn. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, babies. Come on, babies. You guys don't seem too worried. All right, you can just let them in there. It's fine. Aww. 
<laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Wrong mama goat. Oh wow. That is oh my mom. gosh, they're all three trying to nurse on the same mom. <laughs> I'm Monica. Right here, Norma Jean, here's your baby. There's Moonlight. There's Miss Moonlight. Oh, that's so cute. She's just feeding back and forth between them. I know, she's so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so sweet. You love it. You love those milks. Aww. I'm really pleased with how it went this morning. It wasn't perfect and I really didn't get that much milk, which is a little disconcerting, but I think that as they get into a routine and we they weren't getting grain at their other farm because they weren't being milked so as we increase their grain slowly you have to do it slowly um, we're gonna get more milk I also think they weren't letting it down it was really really hard to get the milk out ruminants can control whether or not they let the milk out or not cows do that goats do that and they were definitely doing that so as they get used to this routine and get more comfortable on our farm then I think I think we'll get more milk and I really don't know how much we got today because the bucket got kicked over all right time to feed them hay let the chickens out make sure everyone has water and I have a really busy day ahead of me Their hay bags filled. And my morning chores are done. Arthur has to move the cows. Grace has some geese eggs incubating, so she always goes and takes care of those in the morning and takes care of the mama and papa geese. But it's on too. So today we've got to drive pretty far. We've got to go pick up all of our meat that we had butchered and bring it back here and then I'm not sure what else I have to look at my list do you guys keep a list I keep a list because I can't remember everything that needs to be done hey buddy hey buddy you ready to get off sit uh -uh. sit oh okay go I have to tie him when I milk because he spooks the goats and then they just dance all around and kick and Goats don't really like dogs. <laughs> At least my goats don't. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> did you actually milk today? Yeah, I did. We didn't get. We spilled the bucket, so we didn't get much. Or she, they kicked the bucket. But we at least have enough to to taste and see if we like the taste of it. I can't find my milk filter. I looked for it a lot yesterday. So I'm waiting for a new one to come. For now, I'm gonna try using this coffee filter system. Let's see if it works. All right, take three. I think I found something that'll work for today, but now I'm gonna to have to wait to milk till my filter comes in the mail. Are you done? I'm done. Do you want some milk? Yeah. Can you go sit in your seat? Yeah. All right, go. Thank you. Do you want to try some milk? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Why do you want a blanket? It's not cold in here. Here, keep that at the table, okay, please? Do you drink it? Yeah, it's just goat's milk. It's yummy. I'm gonna try it. It's warm. I haven't put it in the fridge yet. Mm. It's very sweet. Yeah, yucky. Tastes good. You it's haven't sweet. tried it yet, so don't say it's yucky. It's sweeter than any milk I've had in a while. Not as creamy, but it's definitely sweet. You wanna try it? Sure. I got you some. The handle's broken. You just have to hold it with two hands. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone. You gotta hold it with two hands. I like it. It's sweet. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like it? Good. Do you like it? Um, this is the first thing I've drank today, so. So you don't? Still have morning breath. <laughs> um, you it's not my favorite so far, but I'll, we'll, I'll give it time. Mm. So everyone's like, you have to keep these goats, but if they don't produce and if it's not milk that we'll drink, then we will have to not keep the goats. Okay. Hopefully we can get that half gallon. I think it would have been a half gallon if we hadn't have, have dropped or ha if she hadn't kicked the bucket over. But I'm hoping, they told me that they would each give half a gallon. So hopefully we can get that up, that production up. Are you having seconds? Awesome. Do you want some more? Yeah. Okay, careful there. Oh, finish that. I'm not gonna take it. Bye y'all. Bye all. Bye all. Bye all. Bye all. Bye all. See ya, I'm gonna go pick up the meat. See ya. Bye bye. This is pretty interesting. You can look at this section. I'm just looking over this section the cows have been grazing on, trying to figure out what to do next. They're still avoiding these areas that have poop on them that's months old. And you can see the steer here is not eating this lush section here. He's actually eating these short areas shorter. Now they have grazed these lush sections, but they've kept really high on them. You can see they've taken the whole top off of this, but they hasn't, haven't grazed Dad. it down. Look at all this length they left. Ooh, but this short area, they've gone over the whole thing and grazed it a little shorter anyway. Grass, yeah, cows eat grass. But then you look at this area down here and it's virtually untouched, it's all long. So the problem, I think, is I'm actually giving them too much choice. I'm allowing them to choose what they eat. Now, they can they, they have enough grass in this. What I mean is they have enough grass in this section that they can just choose what they want to eat, and they can graze without even touching the spots they don't want to. So I think the solution here is actually to put more pressure on them, smaller space, less time. Smaller space means they'll have to eat everything down, less time means they won't overgraze it. Today I'm actually gonna shrink this section, probably what I should have done yesterday, and just put them on this end they haven't hardly touched, and just leave them on this for the rest of the day. Then tomorrow we'll move them on. First I'm gonna herd them back into the back so they don't get totally out here. All right, let's go. Walk into the back pasture. Walk back there. Walk up, walk up. When you look back up here, you can see the leaves of hay I gave them yesterday. So I know they're getting enough food. Otherwise, they would have gone back there and eaten that. Really? Really? Hold this for me. Don't don't drop that. That's just some string. I just left those cows today out in the back pasture, off the pasture, 
and they've been very quiet. I think they're just so full and satiated from the past couple days of being on grass that they're pretty happy. And I'm gonna leave them out there through the night, let them eat the rest of that hay, and then in the morning we'll put them out on that one little one day section that I fenced off this morning. All right guys, we're cooking some pork chops tonight and I wanted to show you just comparing these beautiful pork chops we just got back from the butcher. They look like that and like that and to my pork chops that I cut last year that are just a little uglier and this one is really ugly. Now granted, my package was the package I labeled ugly pork chops. They were kind of the leftovers and the uglies but they're all going on together and I am excited. Well guys, we got a bowl of charred pork chops here from our homestead. They're charred because they're American guinea hog and it tends to be a little fatty, lit up on the grill. It's been another great day on the homestead. Thank you for joining us. We didn't include everything we wanted to in this video, but we didn't include anything that we didn't want to also, so that's good. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in another video.